video we will start from the basic subjects and we will starting here from the skeletal systems and the bones okay let's study about the bone and the skeletal systems so what is the skeletal system skeletal systems when we talk about the skeletal systems then we will consider the bones but the skeletal system mainly consists of many things the skeletal system it consists of skeletal system it mainly consists of the bones cartilage okay and there is also the bones cartilage ligaments joints and connective tissue so what is the skeletal system the skeletal system it consists of the bones cartilage ligaments joints and the connective tissues so what is this in the skeletal systems we will now we will study about only the bones okay so bones it's you know the bones are the classified into the uh, and what is the functions of uh, bones the so bones these are the 206 in number or as all we know the 206 bones so what is the function of these they protect our important organs like vital organs that is like uh, we can say the skull protects our brain like that it protects the important organs and then second it gives the body structure the bones it gives body structure can you assume without bone and it allow the muscles allow muscles to facilitate the movement okay it allow the muscles to facilitate the movement okay so can you assume our uh, skeletal systems or without bones or can you assume us without bones so without bone we are the shapeless we don't have any shapes is it right without bones we are shapeless i am correct we don't have any shapes we cannot flex we cannot extend and we cannot like so next things the so bones classifications so you know the bones these are classified into the mainly the two types bones they are classified mainly in the two types one is axial skeleton and the second is appendicular skeleton so what is the axial skeleton and how many bones it contains and what is appendicular skeleton and how many bones it bone it contains the axial skeleton it consists of 80 bones and the appendicular skeleton it mainly consists of 126 bones we will discuss sorry okay so axial skeleton there is 80 bones and appendicular there is 126 bones so what uh, the axial skeleton mainly consists and what is the axial skeleton the axial skeleton it that is axis located along the axis it's located along vertical axis of our body located along vertical axis of body okay next take this is our person so if you talk about the vertical axis then this is this one there are bones which are located this along the vertical axis of the body is known as the axial skeleton so what is the appendicular skeleton the appendicular skeleton it's the bone in the upper limbs what is the appendicular skeleton these are the bones in the upper lip bones in the upper limb only no the bones in the limbs only the bones in the limbs and the bones that connect the axial with the appendicular bones that connect axial with the appendicular so what we call this we will call it girdles 
we will call it girdles so let's change the color and we will write it here girdles so a pendicular skeleton it consists of the two types it consists of the bones in the limbs and the girdles okay let's go back to the uh, axial skeleton again so axial skeleton we say there are the 80 bones so what is these 80 bones consist of the skull they mainly consist of 22 bones the skull mainly consist of the 22 bones and then there is a vertebra there is vertebra or we can say vertebral column so vertebra mainly consist of the 33 bones is 33 bones present in the adults no it present in the children's bachcho mein aur uske baad 26 bones these are present in the adults is it okay and there, then there is a sternum what is the sternum we didn't hear about it the sternum is the midline breastbone sternum is the midline breastbone breastbone or oh, after that if you will skull vertebrae sternum so these are the axial skeleton so one more missing space then there is a ribs and ribs it mainly consist of how many bones there is 24 ribs in our body they are classified into the two ribs false ribs and floating ribs. we will study it about later so and then there is 22 plus 33 so we will consider it as sternum is only the single one bone and there is also the which bones ear ossicles someone consider it into the skull some will uh, teach it separate and some will learn it separate so ear ossicles if there is a 26 bone present in our both ears and there is a one hyoid bones that is our that is also the axial skeleton bone and that we can say it's tongue bone but it's not present in our tongue we'll study about it and there is a girdles so girdles it mainly consists of the limbs part limbs bone and there is a girdles appendicular skeleton consists of the limbs and the girdles limbs there are if you will talk about the upper limb then upper limbs have the 60 bones and the lower limbs have the 60 bones so these are 126 and the girdles there is two type pectoral girdle and pelvic girdles so pectoral girdles it consists of how many bones and pelvic girdle consists of how many bones so pectoral girdles is consist of the scapula clavicles so these are under pectoral girdles and pelvic girdles consist of the hip bone mainly okay we will also study about the girdles and the limbs okay so next what is our topic so next is axial skeleton so let's before going to the axials and appendicular skeleton in the details let's study about the types of the bones